What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm actually going to be giving you guys my coins to buy and hold in the month of May. As you guys already know, May has just started and I think this is going to be a huge month for the crypto space. So in this video, like I said, I'm going to be giving you guys a couple of my favorite picks for May. I'm going to be going over each individual coin, why I'm holding it and what my plan is. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe because I post daily crypto content. And if you are a returning subscriber, remember, you can get my crypto and stock market buy sell alerts for just $9 a month. The link is down below to sign up for that. Now, let's get right into it, okay? I do want to start off by saying I'm going to be excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum from this list. Guys, whenever Bitcoin and Ethereum does dip, I usually buy. And the majority of my portfolio is spread across Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, just so you guys understand, I'm not one of those gambling degenerates. I actually am buying and holding these cryptos for the long term. I'm trying to build a real wealth in the crypto market and I don't really, I guess, like day trade or swing trade. I'm not trying to just get rich quick. I'm building long term wealth. Okay, that's kind of my investment strategy and my thesis on how I like to invest into the markets, whether that's crypto or stocks, because you guys do know I invest in both. Okay. So again, Bitcoin and Ethereum, uh, I am buying and I will be holding. Uh, just taking a look over here, I can see Bitcoin easily hitting 100K by the end of this bull run. Uh, and with Ethereum, I think Ethereum can, a lot of people are saying like 10K. Um, honestly, guys, if we see Ethereum hit like 5K, 6K, I'll be very happy. Uh, and even with Bitcoin, people are saying it can hit like 200K. Um, you know, there's even some people saying, oh, eventually Bitcoin will be a million dollars, which again, you know, hey, if that happens, amazing. Uh, but like I said, my main two bags uh, are in Bitcoin and Ethereum. So my first coin that I want to talk about is the pancake swap coin. So the cake coin, uh, this is currently trading at $38 and 66 cents. And one of the main reasons I'm bullish about this is because this is pretty much the Uniswap uh, the, the Binance smart chain version of Uniswap. So if you guys don't already know, uh, they're on the Ethereum blockchain, there is Uniswap, right? And on the Binance smart chain, there is PancakeSwap. And a lot of people uh, are using PancakeSwap now just because of the whole, you know, safe moon and all these new safe coins and all these new like projects. A lot of them are being built on the Binance smart chain. And PancakeSwap has so much potential because it has such a smaller market cap compared to Uniswap, okay? And taking a look at PancakeSwap as well, we can see that one of the main reasons I like PancakeSwap is if you actually go onto their uh, website over here, you can see there is actually a pool which you can pretty much stake your pancakes so your pancake token, and you can get 147% APY, okay? If you guys want me to make a specific video talking about this, how to properly use this, uh, drop a comment down below and I will be sure to do that. But guys, I am gonna be staking, uh, I believe, almost all of my cake onto PancakeSwap so I can get that 147% uh, return. Again, this is automatic as well. It's super interesting, super cool. And guys, I really do think PancakeSwap can hit easily in the short term. Uh, when I say short term, by the way, I mean like in like a couple of weeks, months, uh, I can easily see this hitting $100. Just taking a look at the past month even, uh, we can really see guys, like this was literally just at $16, $15. So we did see uh, pretty much a two over a bit of a, a bit over a two X in the past month. Uh, like I said, I can see this hitting a hundred dollars, especially as they are going to be, you know, being more involved with all these new projects. Okay. Now another project I want to talk about is shill is okay. Shill is for whatever reason does not get a lot of love. Okay. I don't know why. Um, I'm actually really bullish on this project. I really do like it. And I think it's one of my most uh, favorite projects in terms of like how much I relate to it. So for those of you guys that don't know, obviously Shillis is something that is in the sports and entertainment industry. They essentially have partnered up with a lot of major teams, whether that be sport teams or even esport teams, and they create fan tokens. So me personally, I am a supporter and a you know longtime fan of FC Barcelona, the soccer team in Toronto, you say soccer or the football team. And pretty much, guys, you can essentially buy Shillis use shillis and then trade your shillis into a fan token. So for example, the FC Barcelona fan token, I can buy shillis and then turn my shillis token into the FC Barcelona fan token. Now, the reason I'm super bullish on this for the month of May is due to the fact that it has been announced that the sports teams are finally going to be starting to allow people to watch the games in like live, like actually attend the stadiums. Obviously, we had the pandemic in the past, like what year and almost a half, which is crazy to say. And 
people are not allowed to actually go to stadiums and watch games. Now, as these restrictions are slowly starting to be like, slowly starting to go away, we can see that people are going to be getting ready to go back to stadiums and watch games live. So for that reason, I think Shillis has a lot of potential because this Shillis wasn't really like popularized before when stadiums were open and there was huge fan bases and communities. Now we are talking a lot different, okay? Uh, taking a look at Shillis, guys, it is at 54 cents. This is also something I've called out in my... Um, my stock market and crypto call-outs. I've called this out multiple times and yeah, it's looking pretty good. Uh, we can see as well, if you look at the past three months, like I said, there hasn't really been much movement, but guys, literally in the past, I put year, whoops. In the past three months, we can see literally in February, this is only trading at two cents, guys. Uh, and again, we have seen insane amounts of growth. Again, it's looking pretty good. Uh, and like I said, I think Shillis only is gonna go up from here, especially with sports being more and more popularized. Uh, you can see over here, the socios.com. Another reason I'm super bullish is because like Shillis is being advertised like live on TV. So it's very, very cool because a lot of the bigger teams, a lot of the bigger sports teams are on socios.com and they're using Shillis, okay? Now, guys, I want to get this one out of the way. SafeMoon, yes, I am going to be very interested into seeing what SafeMoon does. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like SafeMoon. I know a lot of people think it's a scam. Me personally, I do agree that it is a meme coin. It is pretty much a coin that is useless, but has a very hyped up community behind it. Uh, regardless, I am still bullish on SafeMoon because of their exchange. I'm very interested to see what they actually come out with uh, and if they can actually come out with it. If that does happen, like I said, I'm be very happy I held. Uh, and if this does dip below where I actually entered, uh, I might actually look into buying somewhere because I did enter very, very early. Again, if you're in my buy sell alerts, you know exactly when we entered. Uh, we did actually enter multiple times. Um, you guys can see SafeMoon is, you know, dipping. It is kind of taking, it did take a free fall uh, and then tried to recover. And again, we can see it's just constantly dipping. Uh, I do, I can see this, you know, hitting new all-time highs in May. Uh, again, we're just going to have to see what happens. Remember guys, I do want to say as well, oh, I wasn't even showing you guys my, my uh, here. You guys can see, yeah, it did have a free fall and then it tried to recover and then boom, nothing really crazy over there. Uh, and guys, I do want to say as well, right? None of this is financial advice. Please do your own research, do your own due diligence. I'm simply presenting you guys some opportunities uh, and you guys can do whatever you want with this information. Uh, like I said, do your own research, do your own due diligence. And remember, I do not buy these coins at all-time highs. If you go ahead and buy these coins at all-time highs because you saw my video, guys, you got to be responsible, okay? Now, the last coin, and this is actually my single most... Uh, Bitcoin. This is this is the one coin that is the largest in my portfolio, and that is actually the BNB token. Okay, so the BNB coin. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Personally, I'm gonna be honest. I think this can flip Ethereum. Okay, I think BNB, the Binance coin, I think it will actually flip Ethereum. Um, reason being is Ethereum is really like they're slacking, guys. They're not really doing much work. Uh, the guy I forgot his name, Vlatic, Vlat, whatever his name is, like. He keeps making false promises, nothing actually happens. He doesn't seem like he's the type of guy to actually lead Ethereum to victory. And the Binance Smart Chain is just way, way better. Uh, so like I personally use the Binance Smart Chain, like I said, for like pancake swap or just other things that I need it for. Uh, just everything about the Binance coin is just way, way better. Uh, another thing to note is like, I really like how uh, CZ on Twitter, like he really understands how important it is to be on socials, to be active and to tweet about the coin. Uh, they have their burns and honestly guys, Binance coin, if you guys want to make, if you guys also want me to make specific videos on each of these coins, comment down below what you guys want and I'll be sure to do that as well. But Binance coin guys, uh, you guys can see over here, it's trading at $617. Uh, I can, I can easily see this hitting a thousand dollars when by at least before the end of the bull run uh, and especially if i do think it's going to flip ethereum uh, again i think we have a long way to go especially guys take a look at this okay so in the past three months um we can see binance was like literally trading for 50 dollars. okay so <coughs> we did see a <coughs> excuse me my god excuse me we did see a 10x uh but again i think there's still so much potential especially like guys taking a look take a look at this right like this is literally trading at like nothing uh, for the past year and we have finally seen it explode and i only think we're going to continue to see this explode um like i said it's at 617 dollars right now i can easily see this uh, in the month of may hopefully this will hit around 700 750s uh, and again uh, if we do continue, I can see this literally taking over Ethereum. Uh, and again, we're going to have to see. I'm not an Ethereum hater, by the way. Uh, I, like I said, I do own a lot of Ethereum, but I do think and I do hope Binance Coin takes over Ethereum because uh, I just like it a lot better. OK, so guys, those are my picks. Obviously, I talked about Bitcoin, Ethereum. I'm obviously going to be holding and buying more of those whenever I can. Talked about PancakeSwap because I want to hold those. Uh, and I want to stake it for the 146% APY. Uh, I want to get more shillies because, again, soccer, football, stadiums are opening up, a lot more potential over there. And SafeMoon, again, a meme coin, but hey, 
sometimes you got to take a little bit of a risk. And then BNB coin, like I said, uh, one of my more favorite projects as well, guys. So that's pretty much my calls and my uh, top picks for May. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, drop a comment down below, drop some likes, like I said. And until next time, remember, stay seeking success.